So what are the top five Colonel Shepard episodes? You'll find out right after this. Hey everybody, I'm Taylor and I'm the Stargate Guy, where I talk to you about anything and everything Stargate. Today's another Top 5 video and we're talking about the Top 5 John Shepard episodes. This may not be the Top 5 funniest or the Top 5 most entertaining, but the Top 5 most character developing episodes. So let's start off with number 5. Number 5, Season 4, Episode 5, Travelers. Now this is where John is actually kidnapped by the Travelers, a species of nomadic people traveling around the Pegasus Galaxy. He is kidnapped by a Lauren who uh, tries to get him to, well, use him for his body, hint, hint, wink, wink, in a non-dirty way. She uses him and his ancient gene in order to help to activate an ancient battleship, which she hopes will be a saving grace for her species and her people. They develop a sort of love-hate relationship as they battle the Wraith and each other, but this leads to a good working relationship with the Travelers, as well as this is the quintessential episode of Captain Kirk, if you get my meaning. Number 4, Season 2, Episode 12, Epiphany. Now, this is where John Shepard gets stuck in a time dilation field, and he actually gets to hang out with some ancients and form some relationships. These ancients are not really the super high-tech kind, but they're the ones who are trying to ascend and trying to rid themselves of all burdens so they can achieve a higher form of enlightenment. During this period, Shepard is with them for months on end and gets immersed into their culture, where he learns all about ascension and meditation and has several frequent naps when in meditation. But this develops John into a bit of an ascension guru just by hanging around it so much. He was able to help Rodney in the Tao of Rodney episode, as well as able to better understand ascension and to fill in some gaps when it came to practical ways of ascending this existence and onto a higher plane. Number three, season one, episode four, 38 minutes. During this episode, John Shepard was attacked by an Aratus bug, a bug from which the Wraith developed and which will latch itself onto its host's neck and literally suck the life out of it, not letting go for any reason, including being shot at point-blank range until its host is dead. Now, during this time, the Puddle Jumper was trapped within the Stargate and they only had 38 minutes to try to figure out how to get them through the gate before the gate shuts down, killing, well, everybody. Now, during this episode, John has a brief encounter with death in order to get the bug out, but as well as this is the episode that forms his entire opinion, which lasts for the next five seasons, about the erratic bug, the wraith, and any experiments having to do with these two things. Giving John a very interesting look into not only death, but how the wraith feed upon people, or used to feed upon people. More of that to come in number one. Number two. Season 4, Episode 15, Outcast. Now this episode is all about human form replicators running around the Earth and not knowing that they're replicators and that kind of thing. But when it actually comes to John Shepard, this is a very key episode in understanding this character. John goes back to Earth because his father had a heart attack and died. And at the memorial service, we get to meet his brother as well as his ex-wife, who we've heard about for the past four years, but never really got to meet and see exactly how they fell apart and what she's like and that kind of thing. So really this episode gives us a great peek into what John's life was like before he joined the Air Force and the Stargate Atlantis team. We get to see exactly what could have happened, what his family was like, how he was raised, basically the background behind this star character that we all love so much in Stargate Atlantis. This may not be the most thrilling episode unless you really like hunting down replicators in warehouse districts, but it does give us a great look into Shepard's background and what made him the man he is today. And now here are a few honorable mentions. Season 2, Episode 8, Conversion. Season 4, Episode 20, The Last Man. Season 1, Episode 10, The Storm. And now, finally, number one. In my opinion, the episode that really helps to define John's character as well as has a tremendous impact on the rest of the series and John himself. Season three, episode seven, Common Ground. Now, this is when he is kidnapped by Koya as well as some of the Janai, and he is held hostage along with another Wraith who feeds upon John as part of a way of getting Koya some wonderful advanced technology, C4 explosives, that kind of thing. Now, during 
this time, he forms a relationship with this wraith that was feeding upon him, not knowingly at first, but they end up becoming a little bit of homies and work together in order to escape the Janai. And that wraith's name is Todd. Todd fed upon John during this episode, really giving John a glance at his own death and mortality, something which would have an effect on anybody, but as well giving him the gift of life and restoring his life back to him, and according to McKay, actually making him look a little younger. Now, although this episode doesn't really give us a great look into Shepard's background or anything like that, this really establishes something that helps with the entire rest of the show. Forming this friendship and this relationship with Todd becomes key later on for the next couple of years, and one that becomes a rather major plot point, including dealing with Wraith Queens, and cloning, and science experiments, and anything having to do with Wraith apart from Michael, we got it with Todd. And this relationship would not have happened if John had not made this very kind of frenemy escaping the Janai with Todd. Let me know what episodes you think are the top five for John Shepard in the comment section down below. Thank you to the patrons who make this video possible. Go ahead and click the link to become a patron and get some really cool bonuses and perks for helping to support the show. And until next time, I'll see you on the other side.